Hey everyone, it's Rodev, and if you don't know me, I make Roblox scripting tutorials, and in this one, we are going to be learning how to do custom Roblox animations. So, just to show you the code works, I'm going to go ahead and jump. As you can see, it plays a custom animation that I made in a few seconds, and basically, you can go ahead and script your game to play custom animations for anything, even running, sitting, the custom dances, for example, like slash E dance. You can set this to a custom animation. But yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, now that you know the code works, first thing I want to do is show you guys how all of this works. So when it will, uh, when I hit play, I'm going to uh, just load into the game, right? And now that I'm in the game, I'm going to open workspace, I'm going to go to my character, so the actual model right here. And then remember, this is different compared to the actual player that uh, my player is. And this is, actually, this is the actual character, so my real character right here in the game. We can see that there's this local script and it's called animate. And the icon might be different for you guys, but uh, it's going to be a local script and you guys can see a script called animate within your character. And if you open that up you can see all of these animations now these are all the animations we can change with the script I'm going to show you guys how to make so for example if I wanted to uh, change the uh, dancing animation or let's do something like that let's do something like uh, the jumping animation so someone change this animation I would uh, go to the animate script go to jump dot jump animation or jump anim and then change the link right here this link is actually the link for the animation itself so what we do is actually change that link and uh, what that's going to allow us to do is basically just change the animation that plays when you jump so this link right here that's the animation that plays when I jump but I'm showing you guys exactly how to change it so you can set your own custom animations but right before that I'm actually gonna be showing you guys uh, how to make animations real quick there are plenty of videos on how to actually make animations but I'm just gonna be going over it really quickly so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and like load a uh, random character up um I would recommend doing an empty character so for that um thing you just go to rig builder right here and then once you have rig builder open you just want to go ahead and insert something like a man rig or a block rig and then once you have your rig inside the game what you want to do is go ahead and open up the animations plugin you guys all have this right here just go ahead and open it and once you have it open you can close the output for now if you'd like and then with this animations editor you want to click on the rig and then name your animation I'm gonna call it uh, my jump animation it doesn't matter too much but you can uh, make sure it's memorable and then uh, once you have it made click got it if you see that and the very very first thing we do is go ahead click this and set animation priority this is really really important and basically these are all the priorities Priority. So for example, core, if the core animation is playing and I start walking around, it's going to stop. The animation will stop. We want to make sure it's action. So the jump animation won't stop until the animation actually ends. So now I'm just going to quickly animate the actual uh, thing. So for this, I'm just going to be uh, selecting parts like this. And then uh, we're just going to be doing something called keyframing. And basically uh, right here, I'm not really uh, too good at this stuff, but there we go. There it is. So when we jump, I'm just going to have like this arm go up just like this. And then uh, at the same time, if I go back to zero, uh, I kind of want like this leg to I don't know maybe like backwards like this and then this is just an example animation I'm making so we know it works and I'm gonna do like one more right here with this leg and basically I'm just gonna have this leg uh, twist that way and then uh, basically uh, this is just proof that the animation is working sure we can even move the body I moved it by accident but yeah and then uh, this is basically my animation right here so once you're done making your animation obviously it's gonna be a lot better than mine you want to go ahead and click on the animation name and then you want to go ahead and click on publish to Roblox once you click that um, um, you can be able to publish your animation so I'm just gonna keep it as my jump animation I'm gonna hit submit and it's gonna get published straight to Roblox now what you want to do is go ahead and copy the ID using this button right here it's gonna say ID copied and once you have it copied you can go ahead and close it close the animation editor uh, if you had the output open you can go ahead and open that back up and now that you're done that you can go ahead and even just delete the dummy and then go to server script service click plus and insert your own script make sure it's not a local script or anything make sure it's a normal script go ahead and rename it to something like um, animations and then right here what we can do is go ahead and get started so first thing we're gonna be doing is uh, making an event for when a player joins the game so basically when the player when any player joins the game this code will run so we're gonna be doing game dot players dot player added full and connect function and then right here inside these brackets when it's like player so we can actually get the player that joined the game and now we can do stuff with the player that joined the game remember if I show you guys inside player service that's the player we're getting right here and then what we can do is create another event so when the player gets a character added so player dot character added colon remember it's a colon and there's no space over here colon connect function and then right here we're going to type a uh, char for character or you can type the full thing if you want I'm just going to be typing char and in here we are going to be typing out the main code that switches the animation so once again I'm going to show you guys exactly how the animations work just to give you guys a quick refresher I'm going to open it up the animate script and then inside all of these we're gonna go jump jump animation and we're setting the animation ID and then basically I'm gonna hit stop and uh, set that with a script so what we're gonna be doing is char 
dot anime dot and right here you're gonna type uh, what you actually want to do so the script is gonna error but that's okay we're gonna open up the uh, player and inside anime we're gonna find what we want to do so this is the animate script and then we'll, uh, by the way this is char so char dot anime and then dot what we want to do so for now I'm doing jump so dot jump and then dot jump anim so basically I'm gonna hit stop and do uh, exactly what I just went through so dot anime dot jump dot jump anim dot animation id equals and it's in a speech mark you want to type rbx asset id colon slash s. this is really important so make sure you get it right make sure you have the two s's and yes make sure you got this right and after this you want to type dot dot and then right here you want to put in your animation id so there's my animation id and once you have this made you want to go ahead and hit play and the animation will be loaded onto the character so if i go ahead and jump uh it should be playing our custom animation all right guys so i figured out exactly what was going on basically we just need to add one line of code it's just task dot wait and basically what this is going to do is pause the script for uh you know the slightest second and that's going to allow everything to load in and then it's going to set the animation id this is going to cause everything to work and we will be good to go as you can see when i jump it plays the custom animation i made uh as you can see everything's working i'm just going to be doing one more to show you guys in case you guys are having trouble with this so i'm going to hit play and we're looking for a different animation this time so say i wanted to do something else for example uh let's say the uh running animation or the yeah there it is running animation dot run anim and basically we're just going to be setting the run animation so dot run anim and if i hit stop i'm going to go ahead and customize it so in the animation script we're going to type dot run and then right here we're going to change it to run animation or run anim and then basically uh if i go ahead and run it's going to be playing the running animation that we made so this is how you make custom animations in roblox and you can play them on your character but yeah uh other than that guys if this video did help you and it worked in your game please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if it didn't go ahead and join the discord you can ask me in scripting support or even in the comments below but other than that guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace